Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken another sum on isometric projection where we have been given two views. So this can be either front view, side view, anything it can be. So this if you consider this will be on the left side and this side will be this distance. So the left side view is on the right. So according to that this is point O and this is point O. So we have decided this. So this is point O. So 36 distance will be on the right side and 30 distance will be on the left side. Now according to this first we will draw the axis that is 30 degree, 30 degree, 90 degree angle. Draw light lines through it. Now calculating the total dimensions, three dimensions, this is 36. The depth or the height is 46 and the depth is 30. So using these three dimensions, we will draw the rectangular box in which our isometric figure will be there. So from O, on the right side it is 36 millimeters. So this distance is 36 millimeter. From point O, on the left side it is 30 millimeters. So I am marking 30 millimeters and the height is 46 millimeters. So here we have marked the three dimensions. Now we will create a rectangular box out of it. Draw the parallel lines properly. So you will get the exact dimension. The advantage of creating a rectangular box is that our whole isometric figure will be inside this. Now starting with the figure. Starting from the point O on the right side it is 36 millimeter and it is a straight dark line. So drawing this line dark, this is 36 millimeter. Now on the left side as you can see from point O on the left side you have a semicircle. The total distance given is 30 we have already marked. Now for the semicircle first we will mark the center point and the radius of the semicircle given is 12. So from the center 12 millimeters on both the sides and the remaining space will be the small line. So from the center 12 millimeters and the remaining space is the dark line. So these two lines are at the end and in the center we have a semicircle. Now for drawing the semicircle you know you have to create a square with the diameter. So radius is 12 so diameter will be 24. So from the center 12 millimeters above and 12 millimeters below we will mark the points. Then we will create a square with side of 24 millimeters. Now for semicircle or the circle you know you have to join the longest diagonal. For semicircle you require only two points. So first marking the center points on this side and through this joining the other side of the diagonal. Now taking this as the radius draw the curve. Now take this as the radius and draw the curve. So with this we have drawn the semicircle. After drawing the semicircle, you can see you have a height of 18 millimeter. So from here, a height of 18 millimeter, draw a dark line. So it is on this side and on the other end as well. So here also at a height of 18 millimeter, draw a dark line. Now from here you can see it is inwards. From the center the dimension given is 12. So first we will draw a light line. Now we will mark the center point here. And from the center 6 millimeters on both the sides. From the center 6 millimeter on the left, 6 millimeter on the right. That will give me the center block of 12 millimeter. Joining the other sides dark. Now you can see you have a height. That height is totally extended till the top. So till here it will be the height. First I am drawing it light then I will make it dark. Now from here it is inward. So you can make this dark. Taking this as the reference line. From here I will draw light lines. As the same thing is on both the sides. Now here it is inwards, 
the distance given is from the center the gap is 10 so we'll mark the center point and from the center point 5 millimeters on both the sides that will be the gap so total is 10 now other lines making dark first we'll create this and then we'll create the other side so draw this dark this line also will be dark now downwards you have to create the downward distance given is 10 millimeter so this distance is 10 millimeter from here drawing it dark 10 millimeter below now it is inwards the total distance given is 20 from the center or she will create a light line now again you can mark the center point or you can uh, find out the distance it is 5 millimeters from both the sides from here so it is 5 millimeters on the left and 5 millimeters on the other side you can calculate or from the center you can create 10 millimeters on both the sides so the simple way you can do the center point you can project the center point downward so this is the center point and you can project the center point downward so this will be the new center point and from here 10 millimeters on both the sides will mark the point and you can join this dark so this is the inward distance so this distance it gets automatically calculated now downwards it is from the top the height given is 20 so from the top we are taking the distance till the 20 and drawing it dark as from the height it is given 20 now same thing we have to project it on the other side as well as it is the same symmetrical it is so this will be dark from here it will be a straight line downward then from here inward then again downwards it will be in parallel with this line so first we will just project this line here and then join this and make this part dark now this part is done now the remaining lines this is a dark line so here also it will be a dark line just take the parallel line properly this will be dark now same thing it is here also so what you can do you can extend this dark join this from here take the line downward from here join this and it will be automatically generated now final edge lines you have to draw this line will also be there this is the edge line draw this line dark here also it will be now where this part is cut here also there will be a line now from here it is inward but it will be inward at the thickness of the block now here I have drawn it a bit wrong as the thickness of this block is 12 millimeter so it will be inwards only at a distance of 12 millimeter I'll change it in a while so just see that as you can see this part is wrongly drawn as you know the thickness of this slot is 12 millimeter so the line which we have drawn earlier that will be inward at a distance of 12 millimeter only so this line will be at a distance of 12 millimeter only as the cut part is that so the thickness will also be that so I'll just erase this part just complete this which I have erased now this line will be inward at a thickness of 12 millimeter only and from here the edge lines to draw so as you can see from here it will be above and from here 
it is attached till this end so this is how the inner edge will look so as you can see now it is perfectly drawn now the final edge line will be the semicircle line as the semicircle is totally drilled inside so this line will be there now with this we are completely done with the sum now we will draw the dimensions mark the dimensions there is no front view or the side view given so there is no need of marking the arrow you can consider any as the front view or the side view just mark the dimensions properly and we are done Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram